What are you doing with your foot on the table? I've got one sock, one barefoot this day. <laughs> one sock, Change one it up, barefoot. refresh the genre. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mix it up. I get it, I get it. Yeah. Noise. What are we doing this week? We're doing Panusha. Panusha? Who's Panusha? Panusha, god of. The oh. Punisher. Yeah. <coughs> oh god, maxing out the mic there. <laughs> Don't know it's right. Netflix. Sorry. The Punisher. Netflix, The Punisher. Could have done it as its own little thing, but we're, we're extending it out. Yeah. There's enough to say. There's enough to say, and we didn't watch any films this week. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. We've been too busy, we've got so much work, did he? Yeah. Uh, Punisher. Wanna, uh, it was amazing. Let's let everyone know first what we did spend yesterday doing. What we spent yesterday doing? Yeah. Well, yesterday we spent a lot of time rearranging our bedroom furniture and contents of said furniture. Nerd contents. Nerd contents. We've got a lot of stuff, a lot of nerdy stuff, <laughs> um, to make room for our very tiny TV that we just bought, which yeah. is a very measly 49 inches. Oh, it's yeah. amazing. Beautiful. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. So we'll be watching films like that for the next few days. It's a thing of beauty. When we find fucking time. Yeah, when we have time, <laughs> when we're not working or doing other work that we do outside of other work. Work. Yeah. Other work. Outside yeah. of work that we have to travel to, to work that we do at home. There's a lot of work to be done. It's yeah. too much. <laughs> you work, can't live work, like work, this. Work, work. <laughs> oh, um, Rihanna. Let's do this then. Let's do it. What should we you... start with just a little comment? If you you should have watched it yet, you bitches. So yeah, if you haven't, if you haven't uh, watched it, you bitches. If you no. haven't, go watch it. You yeah. don't need to watch any of the others. No. It would help if you watched them and dared them all. It make yeah. it a bit... Well, it wouldn't really help in terms of... It doesn't like... It doesn't, going, yeah, you you're not going to be confused just, or anything. Just nice to see him in that. Yeah. He's great in that. Yeah. He's actually... It's good. I reckon he's better in Dead than he is in this. Not better, but he's... It's, the writing for his part in that. Do you think? Yeah. Oh. Nothing beats that against the gravestone scene. Mm. I'll tell you that now. And the one on the rooftop of Daredevil. I really need to watch Daredevil again because I just don't remember it yeah. as well as I would like to. I think it's because it's him and Charlie Cox together. Yeah. And they're both great. Oh, um, so good. Yeah, you don't need to watch any Iron Fist or Luke Cage or Jessica Jones or The Defenders. Lucky for you, you don't have to watch any Luke Cage. Lucky, yeah, lucky <laughs> you don't have to watch 13 episodes for each of those. Or Iron Fist. Iron oh, Fist wasn't that bad. Luke Cage wasn't terrible. I was just bored. But None of them were terrible. They're all okay. Yeah. They're better than most, yeah. how TV used to be. Yeah, like, yeah they're, they're better just, than it's most just, It's a drag to get four of those to watch just to have this make sense. But yeah. it doesn't because they're not connected at no, all. There is no standalone. Yeah, yeah they don't, don't even know. reference them. No. There's no reference to anyone. The only, you don't even need to know his backstory, really. No. The, they go through that too exactly the only link I would say is that Karen from Daredevil is in this you've got a few yeah. characters coming from Daredevil in this but that's because yeah. they are linked more than the other series yeah. they're not just like crossover characters but even that you don't even need to know what their relationship really was no. in Daredevil because you just you know that he knows her from his past yeah. in some way and that's, yeah. and that's yeah. enough it's you don't need fine. to know it's just, no. it's just nice it just adds on to it um, so having said that you don't need to know yeah. and you should have watched this you bitches yeah yeah um, on top of saying about being linked, I also yeah. liked that they didn't keep referencing the incident, yes. which is what happened in Avengers in New York yeah. City. They don't keep saying that every series is where they've mentioned the yeah. incident or like the big green guy or the yeah. guy with the hammer. We won't say their actual names, but yeah. we'll just say the guy with the shield. Yeah. Oh, it's just the the guy who was rich. It's like just. <gasps> oh my god. This isn't charades. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Yeah. They don't reference anything else in here other than like I said, you have characters in Daredevil, but they don't even reference Daredevil. I don't think. Ah! That's well, very. Well, Sorry. you're silly then. You're That's silly. very. I've just closed my mind. I need it. Yeah. Winging this one, bitches. Um, <laughs> yeah. There's no. No links to him, other than I think some shots are quite reminiscent of Dead or like very yeah. similar shots. Yeah. And going into spoilers now. <laughs> spoilers. Um, there is a shot in this. Yeah. And I want to know if anyone else, if our one person, if you get a view this week. We're not going to um, get a view this week. <laughs> oh. If there's a. Do you know what? We haven't checked iTunes. Who are those people listening to us on iTunes? Oh my god, they tell you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there we go. Um, 
there's a shot in this yeah. where Punisher has a dude tied up. Yeah. I've forgotten which one it is. One of his many people he kills. He's got him tied up, and the shot of him tied up at the bottom of the stairs is very reminiscent of a shot in Daredevil season two where it shows Matt when he's young with Electra, and they've got a guy tied up at the bottom of the stairs. Mm. And it looks like the same house. Same, ha- it's the same house. I'm not that. It's like the same house. The same house. Yeah. Um, don't know if it's a reference. You notice like a lot of. Um, Seeing me shot. Well, I'm very, very into my cinematography. Yeah, and, uh, and you've watched Daredevil a bunch. <laughs> no, don't worry. Nice, only watched it once. Ryan, that did. Yeah. Um. We, got we look like some absolute freaks that. right now. You're sat. We're recording a podcast that we do every week, and you're sat in covers, freezing, and I've got one foot out. <laughs> I'm always <laughs> freezing. When we, I don't know why. It's just when we film this, I get really cold, and then I have to wrap you get myself nervous. in many rugs. You get nervous. Yeah, I'm like, oh my god, so many people are gonna hear this. <laughs> oh, <just> so nervous. <laughs> All right. right. Anyway, Punisher was fantastic. It was very good. I loved it. I really loved it. In retrospect, yeah. I'm joking. No, it was very good. I think again, I can see why people might not like this as much. I think if you aren't a fan of the cap, like if you aren't a fan of the of the superhero TV series, and again, mm. like even though they don't connect, I feel like you aren't gonna have as much time for this. Why? I think it drags a bit. Like, Do you really? I think I think some parts of it drag because I feel okay. like they try to include too much. I love the Punisher storyline. Yeah. I love Lieberman storyline. Yeah. I liked. I said I can't remember who said they didn't like the young kid storyline, but I liked the young kid, the yeah. Marine. All the stuff about Marines dealing with yeah. having come out of the war and trying yeah. to live a normal life is. I like that. That's a very nice thing to portray in yeah. Punisher because Punisher very much used to be a Marine. Yeah. So it's nice to convey like a, a, an actual issue. Yeah, I like. I really like that they started with the PTSD group and yeah. they were all just yeah. All that kind of stuff. Trying to talk it out. I think they could have exp- explored it a bit more, but I loved all the characters that used to be Marines. I loved his mate with the one leg. Yeah. yeah. I loved the young guy. Like I didn't love him because he wasn't a great guy, and I loved him because of his character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I loved. <laughs> Uh, love what he did. The main two, uh, Thingy Russo. Yeah. Who was Ben Barnes and oh, I loved Punisher. He's shone in this like way yeah. more than he has in anything. Else. I would have liked to find out more about Lieberman. I like because I heard about the whole uh, cover up. I'd like to have gone it more, make it more a bit more like a yeah. Big, um, I worry that they're gonna like, try and do some sort of like four episode thing for him or something. Really? Yeah. I reckon they will. He's not done for anyone else. And I mean, it was no, great, but, but yeah. Um, I would like more of a conspiracy for him and everything that happened because it kind of, kind of, for how long that this the- this series didn't need to be thirteen episodes, I would have been happy with ten had it taken out some bits, which I'll get onto in a second. I mean, mm. he was good, but like he was great in it, but his storyline was a bit. It felt not rushed, but all the stuff about why he then went into disappearing and it explained it. But yeah, it could have been a bit more like tense and a bit I more think the, built up. But I think the why. thing is, this is meant to be the the Punisher story. Yeah, still. Yeah, but no, then, okay, I know, I know, which I, I agree know. with, yeah, no, which is why fucking whatever her name was, Madani didn't need as much time as she had whatsoever, no. and I didn't like that. You don't need to have a detective in the side of every story. No. Like she was, because they've done this in the others as well. Like you have it kind of in Daredevil. You see the cops, you see the people chasing them. Not as well, no, much. No, you don't. You don't need them. But I think for the for for the storyline that they went with in this, you did you did need it. Like it was. Towards the end, a bit more. But she had. We said like four or five episodes in. Yeah, I think she did. Not, like the case that they were doing didn't go anywhere. No, it took too long to go anywhere. Yeah, and it was just kind of. And it just felt like what it was was. This has happened. We've seen this on the screen with Punisher and yeah. Lieberman. Let's just jump to Madani now for yeah. twenty minutes and watch her figure that out. Yeah, but she didn't like. It was just kind of like a hunt. And showing yeah. what happened and then tracing it. But it, the, the trace wasn't anything other than her in the office going. Mm. This just no, no, this happened. She needed to be in it, but she, yeah, I completely agree. Well, like we kept saying the whole way through, I hate Madani. I didn't hate her at all, and I, I much preferred her by the end. But I think, yeah, the first like three, four episodes, she had way too much screen time, and she was boring. It was just boring. She's boring to watch, and her her arc, I didn't really care for. There was a weird crossover. Like the crosses were cool. Like when she was in the car, and when she saw the Punisher, or she saw Frank Castle for the first time, mm. and she was always still alive. I saw him when he dragged me out of the car. Yeah, that was awesome. That was good. Other than that, was a bit stupid that he dragged her out with no mask on, without covering his face, or trying to make it unobvious who it but is. But he does that though, doesn't he? He doesn't really care. Yeah, no, I guess. Um, regardless of whatever, the best bit this is John Burnt for. Like he is just he is the mm. Punisher. He, you could have given him any script and he'd be great as it yeah. because he just knows what he's doing. He's brilliant. Yeah, um, completely agree. He's just he's perfect. Yeah, he's, he's so perfect. He looks perfect too, and it's just <laughs> he looks perfect. <laughs> no, not no. That. But for this, yeah, he's yeah. 
I think the reason yeah, I was yeah, surprised yeah. with this, if you watched that first episode, you were so, if you just watched that and then you saw where it ended, you'd be so surprised how it got there. Oh, yeah. Because that first episode felt like a completely different series. It did, yeah. With the construction site and yeah, when he had the long hair and he these... had the hammer and yeah. all that kind of stuff. It felt like, oh, this is going to be like a sort of like old man kind of yeah. style story of like, rede- like trying to find it and then it all just kind of went, no, this is a spy kind of yeah, story. Yeah, I kind of thought it was going to go different. down like the old man Logan type yeah. sort of route and it was going to be like a, a fit, like a wrap up. Like, yeah. like Logan was but no it was, it didn't, so, it was kind yeah. of like a whole and I really liked that because it, it, it kind of thought it, it kind of felt like he was done yeah. and then obviously he wasn't I was going to say you know right at the start I said I hope they don't do too many flashbacks of like, what happened to his family yeah um, I hope they don't like keep doing that as a constant thing like every time he does something he's like oh the memories like yeah. obviously it's, a, it's an awful thing but I just mean I, I didn't want them to keep showing it which they didn't but then I thought actually towards the end they did too much stuff with his wife but they kept I think it wouldn't have been her. bad if they didn't put so much at the start I liked yeah. the like I don't know I kind of I like the stuff when they're dancing to the song yeah and no, I like I the stuff that. but I've seen so much of it already yeah, I think but that stuff because that was brutal wasn't it? That he, was, he was thinking of that when he was getting literally on the verge no, of no I didn't dying. mind that I didn't mind that at all I just mean because by the time it got to that point they'd showed us so many times yeah, they, yeah. they kept doing like the variation of when she was saying... Waking up and oh, he was like, yeah, you need to the sleep. Time. Yeah, yeah no, I agree. got all the time in the world, now you're back. And then she would, like, die in various ways. Actually, I really, really like because I think that was quite clever because it's sort of like, you do dream like that. You yeah. have, like, a, a constant theme, but it, like, varies how it plays out, which I did really like. But then it sort of desensitised me to that bit at the end where you kept seeing her and that was actually yeah. a really nice bit. But, yeah, they did. I think they did a little bit too much of that. I would have liked to have just seen what had happened mm. at... Central Park mm. like instead of showing him waking up in the morning and that kind of stuff I would have just liked to have seen what happens to happen when they died like because mm. that would have been some serious acting there mm. and also that would have been because that would have been because this, this whole thing is based Daredevil? on that I don't remember no Do you, you, see, don't, you, don't, you see don't see it it's just a hint again but you don't I, I'm, I don't remember seeing it and I think I would have because I've watched it twice over yeah I don't think you do see it you just know it, it was done at that why have I forgotten what it's called in Central Park yeah the, what's it called the, fer- the merry-go-round. Thing. Yeah, but it's oh, fuck, what's that called in Central Park? Has a name. What do you mean? That like fairground ride. That yeah, that bit of Central Park has yeah. a name. I can't remember what it's called. Oh. At the oh god, they say it so much. <laughs> um, the I can't remember. Anyway, it is the merry-go-round. Mer- but yeah. fuck, it, it's annoying. Um, yeah, I mean, I would have liked to have just seen it, kind of like how they're doing Better Call Saul, where all they show of him up post Breaking Bad. Yeah. Is at the start in black and white like that and just yeah. see or have bits of it like a puzzle have bits of what happened yeah. as opposed to all this other flashback stuff have bits of what happened yeah. to his family see I assume that we'd already flashback. seen it because I was thinking have I seen it and I thought I must have seen it or they would they would definitely they don't have to show the kids getting shot just have no. like do you know and just show just show it suddenly start going down they did show like before it didn't they they showed them in the park and stuff with Billy and everything yeah yeah, they showed that. But I didn't want all this sort of stuff. The two bits I really Although was interested to see. was that on the same day? Because Billy said he wasn't there and he kept asking him if he was there. I don't think it was the same day. So it I don't know. the same day? No. Anyway. I would have liked to have seen... The two bits I was really interested in back in his past would have been the bit with the merry-go-round when they all get killed. Yeah. Or oh, if you haven't and seen also, that, then definitely. Yeah, I would yeah. have liked that. And then the other bit I would like seeing is the bit he talks about. and Well, he says about Penny and Dime. Yeah. He's about reading to his daughter and then seeing the book. Had that and not yeah. explained it, just had that bit and then it'd be like, oh, shit, so then yeah. that would have been quite cool. Yeah. Other than all the other flashbacks of waking up about 500 times. And if that's a bit haunting, it works in terms of story because he keeps waking up and dreaming of that bit. But Yeah. 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 I did like it, though, as a as a different device because I think a lot of things just do that. They keep sort of playing bits of when the actual thing happened and I don't actually think that's how... You dream, like for no. Well, that's because they would do it. They weren't doing it as flashbacks; they were doing it as dreams. Yeah. If I meant if they did flashbacks, I would have. Oh right, yeah. But he was dreaming this stuff. Yeah, that could have been. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) I didn't want them to do flashbacks as if it was him remembering it. That was my only thing. But if they, but I still, yeah, I think they should have showed it just like as a part of the program, like they do in Better Call Saul, like when they show bits of his past. Yeah. It's not him sat there thinking like, oh, I remember that day. I when. think Marvel as a whole very strange. With, but they did it in Daredevil because it showed him when he was young with Elektra. I was just saying Marvel with their films, they don't do flashbacks really yeah. unless they're trying to do them smart and do them as memories or like something yeah. like that. But they don't really go, 
Here's this. Here's Captain America when he was younger. Here's. They don't do, do with the uh, Star Lord. Oh, yeah, they have to actually. Yeah, yeah, they do do flashbacks. Of course, they do. And yeah. then obviously, I'm pretty sure in Ant Man they do Hank Pym when he's younger as well. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Oh well, they start to be more. Yeah, remember yeah, these because it's only Tony Stark. They don't. I guess because they want. Because mm. they showed him young, but that was when he was looking back. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Liebman was great. He was really good in it. He really was interesting great. with his neck beard. He looked like a <laughs> strange guy. I love their friendship so much. Yeah. Oh, that was such a great dynamic that they had and then oh that one line when he came back and he was trying to pick him up when he was saying oh please can we go and get him when he said they wouldn't betray him and they went to get him and he picked him up and he was like my friend is dying I was like oh god that is, that is tough that is really horrible yeah I think really, I did really really spoil it I was going to say about that coming because I think he's this, like psychic in the comics so yeah I think we'll see another series I think they'll both be back they definitely will. This is doing really well. Like the Rotten Tomatoes, it's been this on like sixty percent. But yeah. in terms of how well the series has done, how popular it's been, it's been very popular. Yeah. I think a lot of people have dropped out, and the other series have come back for this one. Yeah, because obviously because people didn't drop out by dead it was season two, so people have seen them and gone, yes, I want to see more yeah. of that. And it's worth saying as well, this is violent as crap. It at is. The start, towards we were the like, end, yeah, but... that's what I was going to say. I was going to say at the start, and as it went on, we were saying, oh, it's not that bad. Why are they saying, oh, sorry, like, it's so violent and stuff? And then the first, the last like two, three episodes we were like, yeah. oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. It's funny because really... we didn't know anything about <laughs> Ben Barnes's character. We didn't know um, about Russo. We didn't know what he we, mm. we thought he's pro- I was like, he's probably a villain in the comics. Yeah. Because. They make that like that, and I was like, and then he started going with his face down the glass, oh. sort of tearing up in that last of it. I was like, oh, 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 oh. this, I guarantee in the comics, he's, he's got two-faced. a wrecked up he's face. He's definitely two faced. <laughs> That's the crossover into yeah. DC. <laughs> yeah, I think they yeah. should do that. No, Madonna no. was okay as a character, but yeah. it just took too long to get to where she got. She got a lot better. She was just really that typical boring, like, why would you follow the rules, God damn it, but Like, it's just. Yeah, it was just that, boring. It was yeah. crazy. Hand me your badge and your gun. Yeah. You're off the force. <laughs> yeah, it seriously was. Yeah. I felt like... There was, was a line in there as well. Let me go, for fuck's sake. Like, yeah. like, okay, it was the whole thing strong female cats, but uh, they're getting the wrong idea. They said, this is what happened when the last guy touched us. I should I broke his arm. I was like, that's... Oh. His arm. His arm. Yes, that's, that's, his arm. Do you know what I mean? They have yeah. to mention that one line where it's like, oh, a guy touched me, I snapped his arm. I was like, yeah. no, that's not what it means for strong female characters. No. It means characters that are like not actually physically powerful. It means no. they're just strong characters. Just be, have, yeah, just be smart and have your like wits about you and have a, yeah, have a good sense of moral direction. That's, that's a, all just strong characters just characters yeah. that are, are not just like psychics that just talk about men it's how yeah. I take strong characters it just yeah. means they're a good character on their own yeah. doesn't mean they can, they're going to talk about breaking men's arms and stuff well, it was just yeah and again uh, it's the whole thing of like imagine if they asked the cop that oh yeah I hit the bitch yeah, <laughs> oh yeah we've got a different reaction yeah. oh my god yeah that would have been hilarious yeah it's yeah but she was, I liked her, I just, it took too long. And again, I wasn't, because the thing is, I want to see Frank, and we kept getting shown her. Mm. It's like, I don't care, yeah. let me Frank, let me see Frank's story. Yeah. And that's why, it's because we didn't know her, it just wasn't yeah. interested in it. Yeah, I don't think that this series dragged at all. I can't say that I thought it dragged. I can say there was way too much Madani, and they could have condensed it down by a couple of episodes. But I don't, I don't think it dragged. I think you said that, but then I think because you said the first four episodes, you were like, oh, we just need something big to happen soon. That's yeah, but that's I think, I think because it, it was her. Started. Yeah, but I think that's because it kept trying to bring too much of her and the sort of cop side into it. And I think, yeah, but if you take it out, that, it would have been short. I don't know. I think yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it should have been shortened by a couple of episodes because yeah. of all that. Because I so think, it dragged. <laughs> no, well, no, well, yeah, no, that bit it did. did at the start. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I was gonna say I think the reason that they did that is because. They were trying to make you have um, like have some sort of compassion for Madani and her partner, and they tried to build up that kind of relationship between them. Well, he's so a that, knobhead, isn't yeah, he? so that more than, no, he wasn't. What her friend, her yeah. partner? Yeah. I thought they were making out to be a bit of a knob at the start. No, they were trying. Uh, no, what I was going to say was that they were trying to make them have like a strong connection so that when he died oh, right, you'd yeah. be like oh my god I can't believe it I can totally see why she wants to go out and yeah. like get the guy now 
but, but again, yeah, they failed die. in that I think I didn't care that much for him and no. I don't think that they liked each other that much I was really surprised when she was like holding his head at the end she was like no 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 I know you like you obviously would never want anyone to die but the way she was doing it was like I think again, they were good best she friends tries to be like a hard ass but she yeah. obviously cares about yeah. them because like I said they are friends yeah, yeah I, I, that's what I mean I didn't but I think that that's why they so tried much. to spend so much time focusing on them so that you sort of were more had a bit more yeah, when that happened, but, but things, they don't really have care. any touching scenes together, really, no, did I mean. they? So, I mean, the scenes they use with them in the office working the case out as opposed to them. Well, they didn't show them off, off work, uh, hanging no. out together and being like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They tried to do that bit where they found the bug in her office and then they were sat outside and she was like, oh, he's such a good guy at this job, like, eats people alive, like you, or whatever, she said. Something like that. <laughs> Something yeah. like he shouldn't have been doing it because he was too nice. And I thought, oh, they're trying to make them like best friends now because it's not working. I know, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I agree with you. All that bit dragged, actually. But I don't, I don't think the series dragged. I think that those few episodes. Yeah. What Should about it? budgetary restraints? Do you think anything was restrained because of budget? Because I um, think there's one bit that certainly was. What? Bit? Okay, well, actually, I can't remember what it was called. They said the play, okay, they said the whole thing in the past with what was the main bag I called, called again? I cannot remember. Not Russo, but. Wolf. Was it Wolf? Yeah. What What's the guy that he name? murdered? Or? The guy had a dodgy. Well, had a dodgy. Had oh a, like, no, the I, um, out eye. No, I can't remember his name. But yeah, go on. He um, the whole reason he had his eye out when yeah. he punched him out, and he kept yeah. saying that he should have let you kill him in that tent. Yeah. One, I love that saying that because he wouldn't have killed him in that tent because people would have stopped him. Oh, yeah. But um, the mission that he, the reason why he did that because they sent him on that mission. And he said it was an ambush. Yeah. And they went and he ordered them in, and he Frank was right, and it yeah. was an ambush. Yeah. When they showed the ambush, tried to make out it was brutal. Yeah. It didn't. I like. I'm not saying war is a brutal. No. But compared to what yeah. else you've seen, yeah, it didn't seem that brutal. Yeah. Because there wasn't much blood, other than when no. Frank goes in and starts like massacring it. Yeah. Which still didn't look that crazy. I don't think it. I don't think blood would be a budgetary thing, but I think no, the just, way that that whole thing was shot and how small it looked. Like, yeah, it looked I, I said to you, it looked like a yeah. set. It didn't. You could yeah. see already. You could see the edges, and you were like, "That doesn't look yeah. like where they." It, it doesn't didn't, look right. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, that bit was. But it's all the like then they had the like military gear on, yeah. and it just. I think as honestly, Russo Ben Barnes's hair in it. Mm. took away from that as well so saying how brutal yeah, it is you're completely right about it said that. about how brutal it was and you saw them there and his hair was still like slicked back yeah. shaved on the sides it's like no. it wouldn't look if it's no, that it you need to make no, it look also, more rugged they were meant to have been away for quite a while his hair just would have grown out and it would have looked like messy yeah. and Unless they didn't, and they didn't make a thing about his hair no. like if they'd mentioned it we always have to have it yeah. perfect stuff sounds like a really small thing but, but that scene just didn't look, it just looked it like they just put silly. on a fancy dress yeah, of army uniforms totally, and the yeah. guns were set. And then gone in a little tent. Yeah. yeah. I agree with you. Because, yeah. oh, this is brutal. They, never, we've never, they kept saying there's nothing like, again, I can't remember the name. They're like, there's nothing like this. Or there was nothing like that day at yeah. it was Kandahar. Kandahar, yeah. It was Kandahar they were talking about. Yeah, so there's nothing like Kandahar. Mm. And they showed Kandahar. I was like, this could have been a hell of a lot darker and cooler. Yeah, and it just seemed like they obviously couldn't film on location, so they were just in that tent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. Because yeah, then it showed him going in, it was like cute, and he was killing guys. I was like, but he's saying how brutal that is. Fucking, the, the, what's crazy is about how much that affected him. I think that's the thing. He does seem a bit disjointed to how he was in Daredevil, because mm. he keeps saying about that kind of horror as if that's haunting him still. In Daredevil season two, he rips for a prison. I mean, that is... Fuck, that mm. is fucking brutal. I know, again, you can't probably remember it, yeah. but he, they let him, they open all the cells in a prison and they all attack him and he, honestly, it's fucking brutal. Like, he just tears for him, he cut, he, he, I think he has a shit where he just slits their throats. Why can I not remember this very well? Oh, God, no, it's pretty because you only watched it once. Yeah, but it was only about a year and a half, a oh, year and a half. Ago. Well, I think how many series have been since that. Yeah. Um, he slits one of their throats and the blood all goes into his face and just mm. like, he's just he just looks like a lost puppy. He just... You, do you remember in Looper that kid where he has blood in his face and he looks really upset mm. it looked like that he looked really. really really sad I was like oh. it's, it's fucking brutal what he's doing yeah. but in this he doesn't it, if he's if he's being scarred by this earlier stuff yeah. it kind of seems like he's been yeah he's been killing people since but nothing's been as brutal the stuff in Daredevil was fucking brutal right. after that that prison scene was horrendous I was like, I'm surprised it doesn't yeah. He just feels a bit. Obviously, yeah, I think, I I think, think it's because you've got different writers, but he, he yeah. seemed, he's the same, same character, but he feels a bit disjointed. Yeah. Like when you see him in the court defending himself and when you see him with Kingpin, yeah, but it I seems think quite even, different. Even though there will be different writers, I think that's, that's, that's not very good, really, because they're still the same 
thing. Like you still like you have Karen and a yeah. couple of others from Daredevil and stuff. They should have been more careful about stuff like that. Because yeah, you're saying that now, thinking about that, yeah, he does feel like it feels sort of a, feels bit, a like bit a different, different character. He? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. He feels a bit more good guy in this than he did now. I think that's what it is. He feels like a very good guy in this, yeah. Which is, that's the thing. He should be a bit. I, I don't think he's. I think he's too good guy in this. I think he needs to be a bit more mm. edgy. Like, I agree. I think because the there's race. a lot of children that he, so not a lot of children, but like a lot of time with those children, like with leaving his children and stuff, and he just yeah. sort of wants to look after them and. Yeah, it start. He started a bit more. Less well, he started a bit more like an anti-hero mm. when he punches Lieberman out when he catches him. He's like, yeah. he's like and that's how I expected yeah. to handle stuff. Is a bit like brutal yeah. and sort of a, t- a tiny bit ignorant. But yeah, yeah. I mean, he just feels a bit different to the Daredevil series, yeah. but that should just be because it's been a while since that. Yeah, that's yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, I did really think. like it though. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I think this is probably my favourite since at least Jessica Jones. Probably it's I probably preferred over Jessica Jones. Yeah. But that was a great series as well. Yeah. Like the, the like Daredevil series. I I love both. Like, I know people yeah. say, no, the second one isn't that good. It's like, it is, but it's very different to the first. Yeah. The first is very down to earth yeah. and street level and it's about two just men fighting over a city. And then the second one is has a lot more sort of lore to it and comic book stuff. Yeah. The, the hand and all that kind of stuff. It does feel very different. Mm. But they were both still bloody great. Yeah. And then as was Jessica Jones, I just think Luke Cage and I think Luke Cage and Iron Fist and Defenders felt a bit more comic and they're on a, Yeah, they're just not... Yeah. I was still impressed with how they did Defenders because I thought that might be an absolute shambles, but I think it was, they, yeah. they managed that pretty well, I think. It's just a weird that that's the one they made less episodes for. Yeah. There was only eight for that, I'm pretty yeah. sure, which is odd. I think that's probably okay, though. Just to sort of find their yeah, feet, but it's like make Justice sure it kind of This is the one we yeah. need to fit more in, though. And no, I know, I, yeah. I'd be happy if the others were all ten, as much as I loved them. Saying then... that, actually, sorry, just quickly, just saying that, thinking of how they managed with the Defenders. They all bumped into each other. Yeah, yeah and yeah. then how they did Justice League. This is so much better. I know, obviously, they had a lot more time. Yeah. Because it was eight episodes instead of just a two-hour film, but just the way they went about it was a lot better. Yeah. Anyway. anyway. Anything else to mm, No. I don't know, much else. Um, I love micro. I think the trailer. I think that's the thing. The trailer is so good for it as well. I think yeah. it's because the way it's edited is really great, and I feel like it doesn't. That is such a hype train that trailer with Metallica one. And just like the way they've timed mm. it, like Baby Driver style, they've just tied all the guns yeah. to the trailer. And stuff. It just I thought the, there's not enough. It doesn't feel like there's enough action in this. And I'm not saying I'm an action lover, but for Punisher, he's all about. Gun like gun fighting and just like kind of, I didn't find there was masses in this. Yeah, because in that did, trailer it looked like there was loads, but the, a lot of that was just two scenes. Yeah, the last the last two three episodes had loads and loads though. Well, when he defended the warehouse at the end, yeah. Yeah, and, I can't and, think of masses like well, where it was, no, the, there was not like okay, well John Wick, look at John Wick, like fucking hell, look how much is in there, and you're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, yeah. but there wasn't many bits where you're like, whoa. No. Like there was a lot of it was just normal shooting and. Yeah. Not any gun feel or anything, or just... No. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I still loved it. I feel like you didn't like it very much. I did really like it. A lot. So sad. <laughs> I loved it, but yeah. I just feel like... I do feel like it went on a bit. Mm. Might have been because we thought it ended after 10, so we finished the 10th episode when we went, oh, that's, oh, that's a strange so ending. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. Went, oh! There's still another three. I told oh, you okay. there was three more. I know, but that's finally sort of 10 on there for some reason. Yeah. Um... What would you like to give it out of ten? I would like to give it eight point six. Okay, give it eight point four. Hmm. I did really like it. I did. Yeah, I'm just okay. we always point out the negatives because we're arseholes. Yeah. Um, I think we should talk about the state of superheroes at the moment because we've just had Justice League and now this, and we just need to sort of yeah. Because we keep, honestly, we keep talking about work about it and it just keeps coming. Bear in mind, we work, because we work in the cinema, we mm. see how quick now they're pumping out, especially yeah. Disney. Yeah. With Disney, it's now every two or three months or four months, maybe it probably goes quicker to us, but yeah. every it feels like every few months now they're pushing There's another huge, yeah, MCU another huge film place, out. Yeah. Like this year, we've just had, I think this year was Guardians 4, Spider Man. Yeah. Is there any more this year? I think it's all this Wonder year. What... <laughs> Yeah, you. no, I know, but we were just saying superhero films, and I was just thinking. Yeah, 
Marvel Justice League one. But they, well, they, well, yeah, but okay, well, okay, DC, yeah. <laughs> okay, for Marvel, we've had three already, and it's crazy how yeah. Spider Man has only just come out, and we've already had four since that. Yeah, that's it just crazy. feels like they've all just. It's just so. You think, bear in mind how, like, when Civil War came out, there was a gap, and yeah. they all kind of felt less kind of. Yeah. Yeah, but now it kind of feels very quickly like close together mm. which kind of, which takes and I and I could say w- working there we can see not as many people are coming in now because yeah. because Marvel films used to be oh shit it's going to be a busy weekend now it's yeah. kind of like oh just get through it yeah because it does not seem like anywhere near people I know 4 was very popular but I still don't think people yeah, are yeah but it wasn't like crazy busy like it has no. been like you say it's over within a weekend as yeah. opposed to like a few weeks it's not they're yeah. not really busy yeah because it used to be when a big release like that came out you'd be like oh my god right the next three weekends are going to be hell on earth yeah. and actually now it's like okay we'll get One through the opening done. weekend it'll be a little bit busier throughout the week and then next weekend will be like a, a half more full but it's yeah. never like no. you never have two weekends running now no. where it's like unbearably busy it's just it's just a shame unless you're Paddington too you fucking yeah unless <laughs> you're Paddington um, but yeah I, I think it's similar to what we've been saying with Star Wars though and obviously it's no way the same out. but just like yeah when you and because they have so much in the pipeline now and so much in in the works already you kind of go and oh, I don't have to wait for it ever like it's kind of just on tap now for whenever I want to go and see a superhero film yeah there's probably going to be one out <laughs> like yeah. there's always one in cinema because they stay on for such a long time as well that is true especially Disney films we keep yeah. them forever honestly that probably that probably is why it feels more so to us as well because we know that they're on forever whereas for other people it's probably like oh that came out that week yeah and I went and saw it and then, it and then yeah. forgot about it and then a few kind months kind of yeah it. but I still think this, but they oh yeah no oh no no yeah. I know I'm just saying that's probably why it feels like a lot worse for us because we're just aware of them constantly yeah. as well it does take away from it it really is now I haven't been crazy I haven't the last one I was probably excited for I think was probably Civil War <laughs> yeah me too like crazy except for like I, did, I was excited for four but I wasn't like oh my god oh my god oh my god I was just like oh, this is going to be pretty yeah. interesting Justice League I was I more think, interested for Thor because I haven't seen the first two new. but obviously the trailer looked completely do you can just to see from the first two to this trailer you can just see oh, the massive difference and yeah. I thought that was quite yeah I was quite interested to see how that would play out but I think they're certainly losing audiences mm. doing this many films this quick and I feel like it's going to kill the genre you're going to hit a point where if you don't it's the year the year started off higher mm. than it's ended yeah because Logan kind of kicked off this I, I can't remember the early superhero films this year I think it was Guardians Scarlet but Logan was in mm. March and that was just phenomenal everyone was like this is amazing yeah. superhero film still and it's brilliant yeah and I then you that's... had Wonder Woman as well sorry again it was like okay there's but again in my opinion Wonder Woman is just a really basic superhero film it's just, yeah. you're just flipping the g- gender and it's had more start was cool like, I like seeing where she came from and stuff I thought that was like yeah. that was different only because the place that she came from was so different yeah. to other places it's not different like in, in storytelling because you often get to see the origins of where somebody came from but just sort of because she's from somewhere so different that was quite cool but this is the problem with all of these superhero films is yeah. however you dress it up in terms of style mm. and costume they're all the same plot a lot well, of the time they're always going to win aren't they yeah, they're always and gonna if they win. die they're going to come back well they're saying that 4 changed it a little bit because it didn't end entirely happy yeah that's true actually that was yeah that was a nice change but all of them are the same plot which is there's a villain they've done this we have to go defeat them yeah. and then it's sorted yeah. it's ne- and it's always so nice it's always about saving a planet saving mm. a land saving, saving a town a saving a sea like they're all the same plot and that's the problem with which is However, fine they dress up which the is same fine thing. when you say oh but it's a superhero they're meant to try and save the world yeah they are but when there's this many of them you can't just have every Stop single time all yeah. oh, we're trying to save the world you don't need oh, to they can have planet. other things all oh, we're trying to do this yeah like, like, like we said the Winter Soldier and but well, well, then that was about saving the planet in, mm. a, in a sense but it had so much more to it yeah then you had Civil War again it's just such a great film like yeah. on it, I know we always say it but it's such a good film on its own and it doesn't even feel like it it feels like it's part of this because he's part of this but it doesn't feel part of this because it feels so much like it's more about like the the things that in that film rather than like an overall like arc that all of these films have yeah it feels like some of them are stepping backwards because bear in mind the first film in the MCU was Iron Man mm. and that was great and that wasn't just about saving so the planet good. that was all to do with like guilt on himself and, yeah. just, like, and it took a while to get yeah. going and like yeah. in terms of getting into the superhero role it wasn't just I found my feet in five minutes no. now I'm the best and I think that is 
that is just one of the most perfect examples of a good like origins yeah. thing because yeah it takes such a long time for him to get going and he, when he starts out he's pretty rubbish at it but and he wants to do it because yeah he has done so much shit yeah exactly and, bad stuff. and i also love that it's that you don't go how does he just know how to do that because he has the background you, yeah. you believe that he can do that yeah i love that yeah Four was four was fine. It makes up a bit, but it just it just like I said, all the Ragnarok stuff is too. I, I don't know. They, I think it is. They are just dying of it now because. And this is the problem with now with superhero films. Marvel are trying to reinvent themselves yeah. with this different crazy loads of colors, loads yeah. of comicy style, and like weird like future sci-fi mixed with fantasy mm. kind of style. Because Black Panther looks very similar to Four. Yeah, it does. And it's like it's. This well, new it's style, kind of it's, that Guardians thing, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's just that... making it quirky, different music, yeah. using. Which now just, isn't different music because it's just all old dirty stuff every yeah. time. Do you know what's really annoying to me as well is that now I'm going to be expected to think that when you think about like him in that cave building that first suit, I'm now meant to think that that is part of yeah. <laughs> that universe with um, with Bruce. the Grandmaster and yeah. stuff. <laughs> it's like you want me to believe that that is all happening within years of it of each other like that's yeah. really kind of annoying <laughs> that they've changed it that much yeah well it's just it's that a weird jump from just everything on earth to being everything in the galaxy now yeah. but yeah I mean with Marvel I mean Marvel's got it a bit safer because while well, they're, they're churning them out a lot faster I don't think they're getting as big numbers they're no. still really making money off of them I mean, do you think about it that back out. in the day when they first started doing superhero films and it was kind of just Superman and Batman like they were the ones that had the big yeah movie releases it was like a oh my god there's a superman film this year everyone go and see superman uh, and it was like a huge thing and that was it that was it for the year you had your superman film and that was it but now it's like you got your superman you got your batman you got your batman v superman you got your wonder woman you got your logan you got your, like it's just too much too it all many. has to be about like team ups and where they're going as well it's been about reference like i said with the, like we had dead was amazing because it didn't feel like a superhero thing no then suddenly he became a part of a team yeah. that were very superhero about saving the city weren't they mm. and I'm glad in the programme that he was like I don't want to be part of this yeah. I'm not being a part of this because yeah. that's what he feels like which is good but like he became a part of a team up that was eventually coming yeah. same with Iron Man that became part of a team up that was eventually coming yeah. it's kind of I don't know I think it's hard with superhero films the thing is none of them none of them, none of them are in, none of, ugh, there's a few but not a lot of them especially in the last year yeah. are incredible I think Logan is and I think that's yeah. the only one that stood out but I feel like that's going to be like people are going to try and do the same thing out of other characters and it's going to kill that yeah. they don't change it up enough a lot of time I really don't think they do I'm so glad that they did that and they didn't try and sort of like gloss it up or make it anything yeah. like and they just said just take this as, as what it is this is just this film I also don't want a sequel to Deadpool I what, think it kills stuff you don't want Deadpool you, no I don't really mm. want it because I like, cause, cause I feel like when yeah, you no, when, again no. it's the same with Guardians like Guardians Two was fine, yeah. but like once you've done it once you do it again it's yeah. not really as good. And, you've and the most exciting thing about Deadpool as well is, I think that's the problem. I think I I really like an origins thing. I think I do really like an origin story. In Isn't that even, not even that it's just it's just just like different stories. Like, there's no, so but many I mean, stories I, mean I always think character. that they're they're always the most interesting film though, aren't they? Because that's he was a guy. And then something happened that changed him into another guy. And that's the interesting thing is seeing how they change. Now he's just, he is that second guy now. And that's what he'll stay kind as. Kind of, he's gone back as himself. Yeah, I know, but he's he's already scarred and he already has that enemy. And he already, do you know what I mean? He's never going to be a normal person again. You won't get yeah. to see him be a normal person changing into a... Yeah. I don't know. Same if let's have a look at what about DC's... <laughs> This is the difference, though, with DC. The problem yeah. with them is they're trying to rush to get to the same point as Marvel yeah. in a few years as opposed to over ten. Yeah. Which is hilarious. It's just, it isn't... This is the problem with all their films. They could be okay, and I like how dark they are, but they've just gone from going... The first film... Well, you had Man of Steel was its own film. They kind of used that one. Like, no, we'll yeah. keep Henry Cavill and use this universe because it was Zack Snyder carrying on with it. Yeah. Batman vs Superman was trying to set up every film possible. Yeah. And trying to catch up with Marvel <laughs> straight away yeah. when they're ten years behind. It was like, let's just try and make little strings to off to everyone. And the yeah. they had Wonder Woman was its own self-contained film. What do you mean when good. they're ten years behind? Well, they're trying to... Well, Justice League is essentially yeah. Avengers. Avengers was like, well, 
I think it was 2012. So oh, I, I see, just, I see, I see. What I'm saying is they're trying to get as as broad and as extensive yeah. as Marvel already is. When they're and I think they've actually they've really missed a trick there because Marvel are going going big and getting every single character in, and they're going like you said with all these like crazy bright colors and mm. these not so universes. And actually, what DC has going for it is that it was a little bit less. There was less characters, and they concentrated more on individuals, and it was just really dark and felt really gritty, like the Christian Bale Batman's and stuff. That was that was their thing. That was their like perfect now because they're little niche. sheeps. Yeah, and, just and now Marvel. they're going. Oh, actually, we can make way more money on a million franchise releases. Yeah, a year, and it's yeah. I think they should have. They've. They've gone all quick. We need to try and do that. Exactly what you just said, basically. They're, they're trying to do that, whereas actually, if they'd gone a little bit back and seen what actually really, really worked for them, they just, could have. I think they could have. Like, I think they could have stood the test of time a bit more than Marvel was going to. Not that it's never going to like go down, and like everyone's going to not bother watching the films just, anymore. What, but it's going to get boring. I don't yeah. think not everyone will, but I think. It, but Justice League is this is the smallest opening in one of their films. So far, which yeah. Is oh no, no. Say, I'm saying, I'm saying, it's not like DC or Marvel are ever gonna. It's ever gonna get to a point where they don't have an audience. But I'm saying, they could have. Gonna... But they put, they'll put people off superhero film because we'll yeah. just go watch it and be like, well, this was kind of because Justice League was just a really, really mediocre superhero it film. It really was, yeah. And if you're doing that, people are gonna expect it to be like that from now on, like they were. They've kind of picked up a bit, and now they're gonna drop again because this the last. I think the last two years, superhero stuff has picked up again so much. Yeah. You just need to go into H and V and look at their stock to see what. You they should need. just go in any shop. Yeah. Like, honestly, any clothes shop, any news agents any mm. like honestly any shop there's superhero stuff everywhere yeah. just everywhere it's, I think as well I think it's probably again I guess it's because superheroes they're at targeting younger audiences now because people because younger yeah. audiences aren't going to care about repetitive sort of treatment to films are they this is the problem with all of them to me the problem with all the superhero stuff is they feel like good action films but they aren't they're just they're, none of their narratives are great none of them other than TV, like I said, Daredevil was great because it sort of went into him as a character without a suit. They went into who he was as a person and it kind of had interesting plots. And it wasn't just about him. They had an antagonist that wasn't just a villain. He had a purpose. Mm-hmm. They don't do that. They don't have enough time and they just make about it about a kind of, like someone in a costume trying to like trying to defeat them. Yeah. And Justice League showed it again. Why would you go for a CGI person as a villain again? It's boring. It's yeah. so boring. And it's I don't understand. Don't and I don't playing. understand why they do it though, because doesn't it cost a lot more money? That's what I mean. I think that's what. But like when you, but when you think of when you say, okay, well Heath Ledger, Joker, like he's the when you think of a superhero villain, he's everyone's favorite. Like everyone. It's really and hard. I don't isn't understand it? why they don't try and do that more. What this is what I don't get. Try and pair, pair it down a bit. Exactly, but this is what I don't get because then when people make good films about mm. like franchise films, people fucking hate them. Like Blade Runner. Like the, when people make a masterpiece out of a franchise, mm. the general ones don't like it because it's no. not what they expect, and because it's trying to change it. But then everyone loves Dark Knight. But I don't know. If, this is. I think the problem is. I think yeah, but I think I think the difference with. They're not similar though, are they really? Blade no, Runner but you get what I'm saying. But like, okay, Dark but Winter Knight. Soldier wasn't popular. Like, not everyone loved Winter Soldier. Yeah. It was just like there's always very key audience people who actually are very much into film and very much into comic yeah. book. Film, like, but I think the thing is with those with those Batman's, I think they have a really good villain. But then that you do have all the like all the excitement. But there's obviously but there's also a lot of dead moments, like where it's just narr- it's just narrative, it's yeah. just talking. I think I think partly. I'm going to put a part of this down to a hype train where it's cool to like something. Mm. And those films are very big pop culture. They are so good, though. They are, they? but, but, oh, but, it's, but God, it's the same with in, Inception, isn't it? Them. Like, how many people yeah. actually understand Inception? And how many people No one understands Inception. Inception. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyone that claims to get Inception, <laughs> I don't trust them. <laughs> but, like, do you get what I mean? Like, but yeah. everyone will say that's my favourite film because it's so easy quickly to go to Christopher Nolan, favourite film. Yeah. Inception, like it's yeah. just and the same with Dark Nature, it's so known. Same now. with Dunkirk. If that hadn't yeah. been Christopher Nolan and that had just come out and it was just going to be a new war film and it didn't have. Yeah. The so, I mean, it's it's drawing on because yeah. young people when they hear when they think good director they think Christopher Nolan. Yeah. Because that is because he's a because he's a pop because he is he is like a mainstream. Yeah. 
different director now, hasn't he? I think sometimes though there are like there's not a really dis- defining reason why why everybody likes a film and not just like it's not like a pop culture thing and it's not like a a niche sort of oh, I love this because it's a really well made film thing. I think sometimes there are just brilliant films yeah. that everyone loves and I, I think that's what strange, they are. Yeah. I, I think, know, but I still I find it strange. I just find it strange. I don't. I don't because I think also there's like there's really good like iconic characters to pick out. Like you have Bane and stuff. Like people will love that. People hated that. But people, <laughs> huh? People hated Bane. Who hated Bane? Most people hated Tom Hardy's voice. Was like, I fucking hate. Oh Bane. right, okay, yeah, I know, but I'm saying, but but some people will love it. Yeah. And then you've also got like the big action sequences, like with the stadium, like. I know, but I know how people don't. People just, will love I that. I don't get it. But it's just thing, I don't know, it's just, uh, the Dark Knight trilogy is, my, is the radio head of film to me, which is how were they so popular? How do they like? How were they have the most sold albums when it's good music and it's different and it's yeah. strange? Yeah. How did everyone like that? Yeah, I because don't know. because nowadays if you play that, they, like, what is this? Because, shit? No, but I don't. I, do, I think I think I I think I know what Radiohead is. It's good mm-hmm. melodies. They have really, really yes. good, memorable melodies, and even though their music is we're changing this to, to a uh, music podcast. <laughs> yeah. No, but even though their music is similar to other sort of slightly more offbeat stuff, yeah. they have a slight thing that like kind of makes them almost poppy. I think. Yeah, just, it's true. Uh, yeah, it's I, true. I'm right. I think I'm just, yeah, <laughs> I'm just cynical because we, when you get Blade Runner and we've had good films, people are like, they're fucking shit. It's like, hey, shut your mouth. Hey, Blade Runner got our first hate mail, so we will always love it for that reason. <laughs> oh, no, if you've done a hate comment. mail. Um, yeah, anyway. I don't. And then outside of DC and Marvel, is there any superhero stuff? We've got a remake of Hellboy. That mm. was Dark Horse Comics, so that won't be either of those. Again, that would be exciting, but I just, it's just too, that's just more because it's just a remake. People miss Hellboy, but people miss Hellboy because the films were good. Doesn't mean they miss. They're the character. remaking Hellboy. Yeah. The David Harbour one. Yeah, that's a remake. Oh, they're just remaking it. Well, it's a reboot, isn't it? Because it's not. Ron oh, okay. Oh, right, right, right. I thought you were like they're gonna do like the same story from the first one or something. They probably right? will. We've oh. done Spidey three times. <laughs> Two times. Yeah. Um. Oh right. Okay. Just trying other superhero stuff there is outside of that. Yeah, I don't. Incredibles um, two is this to next year. I, yeah. mean, I don't mind that, but again, you could you you potentially. If, I'm glad it's the same director because I don't want him to ruin it. You need to keep. This is the thing. If you've made such good characters, and that first film's so good because they mm. feel like a family. They're all wonderfully written. Mm. All the like way they all speak and the way they are children, the way they act is all wonderfully written. Yeah. Keep that, and you don't need to make. Just have and don't you could if you want to make it just about different, like. I don't know, like, again, it could be a really... Me- the first one is quite a mediocre plot. Mm. It's just a villain who wants to defeat, like, the, the good guy again. It's just that again. It's just that basis. Mm. But because it's all wonderfully written, there's lovely moments, mm. there's true, there's real feeling moments, yeah. it makes it great. Yeah. Even if you're not going to have, like, a conspiracy or something interesting plot, you can just do that. But, again, I'm worried they're going to poop I th- it. I think the problem is with, like, when you look at Justice League and things like that, I... If they had lost, who... Like, why would I care... Because I'm not going, oh no. I haven't met any of them before. We just yeah, meet them for I, like yeah, the bit I, that's in the I'm, trailer. I don't and, that's think, it. and I think the problem is you don't want somebody to die because you think, oh no, what will their like husband or their wife or whatever that person that they were close to, you when they they have to have that sort of relationship connection with somebody for you to go, oh my God, no, I don't want them to die. Mm-hmm. But I did, I, if they'd all died in Justice League, I would have been like, oh, okay. I mean, I wouldn't. I would have been like, sweet, they oh, killed shit. them all off. That's That's... <laughs> sick <laughs> but i mean i wouldn't have like had any emotion towards it i think it needs to, it need, there's just no heart in it there's no reason for me to care about any of those characters yeah i and ben affleck I is know, again, they looking really too much. weird in the suit <laughs> <laughs> it's just they're, just they're just big money makers now aren't they in yeah. the cinema it's just this is the problem now I, I think i feel like in a few years time they're not going to be as popular. I think they're going to lose no. it because you look at their life. They've got all their lineups and they've got all these TV. X Men has fucking the gifted yeah. new mutants and oh, like I know. I know. we just had Legion. They've, they're even doing it with TV now. It's just so much superhero I stuff, know. and most of it just could completely. Yeah, unless you're like diehard comic fans, yeah, superhero you're going to watch everything. Like all those Marvel series and those loads of items. Like, I don't the Flash even, is on like it's third. Season? Probably more than that. Well, Arrow's on like it's fifth. Surely probably. I've never watched any of those. No, I haven't. But um. I think the problem is now that these franchises they're just too big for anyone to take a chance to take a risk and try and change it up. They can't. They can't. They can't do that. They can't. 
risk Smart making it. They just all feel the same. They're just, it's just mm. all the superhero stuff is too same. I think that's mm. the problem with it now, and all people are going to lose interest. Yeah, and they're just blending into one big thing. Like I keep there's scenes that I can't think what which one of these films they were from. Exactly. And look at look, look at this. The, and genres will die. Westerns fucking died as well. Like mm. completely. I mean, they're coming back a little bit in terms of like modern westerns, but they died. Mm. Like, that was a really popular genre, and now you don't see it so much. Mm. And action films like big sort of disaster films do not happen as much no and when they come back they're just like terrible so people don't Geostorm. laugh at yeah, yeah. Geostorm, I was like oh mm. I love a good disaster film and it mm. did nothing and I bet yeah. all people well oh, I'm looking for that I didn't know but none of them watched it I don't remember no. anyone watching Geostorm no, I don't remember anyone watching it. and it only came out a few days before no, it came a few days before Blade Runner, I think. But it's the same, or like, I know Life did well, and I really liked Life, but I think they there was a point where they were just that was churning, out, small churning out the life. space films. Yeah, they're, they're the, still on the, ver- I think on the end of that a little bit. Yeah, that, I that think in Wonder, the, I don't know if that was in the book, in Wonder, the fact that he wears a space helmet, Yeah, I think it's just to catch people a little bit, mm. of the whole idea of, like, yeah. you know, yeah, they are very much just sort of, the genre's just they're over, overkill. And John mm. Wick has brought revenge... Yeah. It's back revenge action films back completely like mm. we said we've had Atomic Blonde again it was very different of a film but it was a similar style mm. she was like John Wick yeah. we have that um, what was it called Thingy Mary yeah I can't remember what it's called oh god um, was it Mary? Brave Mary Proud Mary Proud yeah, Mary it's Proud Mary, Mary. Yeah. that's coming out we yeah. had uh, the one with Jamie Fox. yeah or it was there's just so many oh We've and um, American Assassin and American Assassin which was like they took this from him he'll see he'll, what he'll yeah. take back it's just yeah it's just a lot of revenge mm. plots coming back now because of that especially yeah. because one film did it now everyone did it I don't know if there was much post-apocalypse which is fine because I mean they're genres like you yeah but, but it's how it's like a very but, insurgent because uh, one yeah, someone enjoyed exactly, it yeah so that is sort of insurgent to bring them all back. Um, like I said, it's an insurgent. Guardians was so popular because it was quirky and the mm-hmm. colours and stuff. So now all the other ones are going to be like that in the next few ones. Other than Mar- uh, Spider Man wasn't, but they would have fucked that if they yeah. made it all like colourful and space. Things. They did it with like Hunger Games and stuff as well, didn't they? Because they had Hunger Games and they had Maze Runner and they had Insurgent and like oh, around all that time, all, like, there was like yeah, a lot young of teen adult yeah. novels. Yeah. Jesus, yeah. It always it always happens, but this superhero thing is just like another level. It's crazy. It's just way too, way too, way too, way too much. Yeah. So. Well, I make that ones. I don't need superhero stuff to be honest. I would no. be take breaks from it. Like I said, you've killed the magic now. Marvel films, you want know, used to be an event. You speak excited from now. It's just, up to Civil War. It was an event, and now it's just like. I think Ant Man was the first, and when you were like, oh, okay. Yeah, actually, I really yeah, I was looking forward to that man. I did like it. I think it's because. Oh, did really you look forward to it? I don't. I don't remember well. being excited for a movie. Yeah. Like, right. Oh, so yeah. Doctor was like, all right. I think I was really looking forward to it as well because I thought Paul Rudd was such a perfect choice to play it. Yeah, and I think you liked Paul Rudd. I didn't know much of Paul yeah. Rudd at that point. Yeah, so I think I, d- I just really I thought he was because I just I think he's a really really good actor and I think that people always like sort of not not overlook him at all because he's really really famous. But I think people sort of have Forget this perception him of that, him kind of. being yeah and being like a rom com guy and actually he's a really good actor and I think he did get to do quite a bit of decent yeah. acting in this. I like him a lot. Yeah, and I just thought he was perfect to play it, so I was really looking forward to that. But but that was I think that was more for him though, to be honest, than the film. So. Do you have any predictions? What's going to happen to superhero films in the next few years? Or um, after that, few I years? think they're just gonna no. I don't. I think it's gonna carry on the, the exact same over the next few years. I think it's just right. gonna keep churning them out, and the, the numbers are gonna keep dropping. And so what? They change them. I feel like even though they've got a timeline of what's coming out in the future like Marvel does mm. they haven't all been written in films so yeah, I reckon I they're going to change just, over time I really don't know because I can't see them stopping but they can't carry on at this rate because it's going to kill it yeah it is well, I don't know well hopefully indies rise um, yeah. yeah I don't know what else is coming out really that isn't Marvel or DC that's superheroes mm. then Hellboy watch oh the Watchmen TV series as well you've got some TV series it's just so much honestly yeah um I've got news to link on to that while we're talking about this. uh, News, 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 news. There it is. You're welcome. (laughs) First bit. Mm. Well, linking on to the end of that, which is good news. 
Uh, it might good, excite news, things a bit more. Because to be honest, I'm still excited for Infinity War quite a bit. Yeah. Um, they've said, so we had the magazines the other day. Yeah. What fucking magazine was it? Empire? Uh, no. The one I showed you all the covers for. Oh. Um, <laughs> for, oh, what's it, it called? Um, uh, oh, fuck, what's it called? Oh, it's, not, it's not a film magazine. No, it was... Um, it was um, two words, isn't it? Shit, what was it called? I can't remember, but go on. <laughs> uh, whatever magazine it was, mm. they put all the uh, characters from Civil War on it. Yeah. That's just worth mentioning. In Can various uh, various odd collections. That plane is going to land on our house. Sounds like it. Yeah, oh, like wow. collections. They pick the oddest collections to put together of characters and be like, yeah. look, it's these guys together. How are we? Vanity Fair. Vanity Fair. Vanity Fair. Oh, I was going to say there's a V in there, there's a V in there, there's a V in there, and then I thought there probably isn't, and if there is, then it's going to be halfway through a word again, because that's what I always seem to do. But, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. that was wrong. They um, four different colours for Avengers. Yeah. To sort of mix them all up. I don't know why I mentioned that. that wasn't do you know what? News. I was really looking forward to it, and now I'm not really. Well, well, let me bored. spice you up with this then. Mm. Um, mm. I can't remember who said. <gasps> they've said above that. Above our heads. From they've on said high. that there will be consequences in this film. There Someone's will be massive. Gonna die. Yeah, <gasps> I think more than one person's going to die. I, think I hope like four of them this die. Is, they basically said this is the end of a few people's stories. Good. So a few are at least going to okay, die, which good. they need to do. That's I think that's the bigger that's, problem with this. Maybe no one's dying. Maybe that's adding the people. future. Just killing them all off till there's off. only like five left. That'd be awesome. Infinity War should be the start of the down spiral. Of Infinity War starts this fucking yeah. massive event where the films are about hunting them all down or their end game. Yeah. Oh, that'd be fucking awesome. Yeah, it would. Order sixty six on those bitches. Yeah. Just like what was that? It was just my hairbrush? Out. You just dropped it. I wasn't playing with a hairbrush. Out. You were. Um, yeah. Will be some major consequences. So people are gonna die. Don't know who. Pepper Potts probably. Mm, I think. Uh, oh, well, hang on. Let's I do think this. Elizabeth right. Olsen might die, and I think. Oh, the... I was about to ask you before you said them. Hold them back. Okay. You didn't say that. Okay. Give me free Slough predictions of Avengers. So not people that aren't in the Avengers. What? Wait. Free. Give me free predictions. Three superheroes you think will die in Infinity War. Give me predictions free. Three superheroes, not Avengers. No, no, they can be Avengers. So I was saying three Avengers. I'm like, no, because they're not all Avengers. Three superheroes, you think? What will do you die mean? In. They're not all Avengers. Well, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh right, Avengers, I see. Yeah. Oh, okay, oh, all yeah. right. <laughs> three superheroes in these films, you think are going to die in Infinity War? Uh, Elizabeth Olsen, Scarlet, Scarlet Witch. Witch. Yeah. Um, um, maybe um. Vision. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's turned into a game of charades. Yeah. And <laughs> I can't think. I don't know. Come on. Else. I don't know. Say someone. I can't think of anyone else. How I can think you might think die. of anyone? No, I can't think of anyone that I think will die. No, I can think Just of. Say lots. a random one then. Say a random one. Um, if you get it right, you win millions of pounds, and this podcast will get thousands of followers. Woo! Uh, maybe. Who is disposable? Because they're not going to kill anyone. Them. They're not going to kill anyone really big, though, are they? Yeah, they could. Contracts All right, give me, yours, give me yours. All right. Well, Vision, I think you're probably right on because he's yeah. got one of the Infinity Stones in his head, so that's he's, getting ripped out. Yeah, and he's so boring. Although I thought like there's going to be a bit of a story between him and Scarlet Witch. Yeah. I think he's going to die. I feel like Cap might. <gasps> Captain America's probably going to die soon. He's got two replacements, and he's had a lot of films, and his contracts almost up. I'm he's sure. got two replacements. Falcon and Winter Soldier both become Captain America and they could both fit that role. We saw him, Winter Soldier, holding a shield and it could just be that he, yeah. he could replace him quite easily. Yeah. I mean, he's he, the character himself doesn't seem good enough to be Captain America in mm. terms of personality, but as an actor, yeah, he could do it. What's yeah. his name? Isn't it Barnes? Oh. Who? Uh, Bucky Barnes. Oh, um, he is called... I can't remember. Badabadabooboo. Yeah. Um, Shibbidi-boo. Shibbidi-boo. Cap Vision. Yeah, and? Hopefully Iron Man. <gasps> How dare you? That would be good if they both died. That would be actually Because really they've good. had their story. They've had they've their time. They've been in Civil War, yeah. They had their time to shine. The two of That'd them. be crazy if they both died. Together. That'd be cool. I wouldn't mind if um, Black Widow died, because she is boring. She could, but she hasn't had her own film yet, so I don't think she will. I think. Is she going to have her own film? Possibly. I, don't think she I feel like Wonder Wonder, but after Wonder Woman, I feel like they are going to make a film. Yeah, for her I don't now. think she can carry it. Fair enough. Although no, she does she carry could. her own films all the time. 
I know. No, I mean the character. I don't know. She's interesting though. She's got the most interesting background. I think she, I she find nice it just moments. quite annoying in this. When she talks about not being able to have kids and stuff, it's really good. Yeah, no, that's true. I'm and wrong. Yeah, I take Russia. it all back. I take it back. I take it all back. Um, do you have any more Hawkeye? news? Yes, I do have quite a bit more news. Thank you more? very much. Can we have it? I'm going to lay along this seat now. As you if look, I'm lying you look like you're advertising the seat. I am. Oh my god, it's so comfy. I can lie down, I can sit up, I can even recline. I can do whatever I want. I can eat my sandwiches right here on this chair. Um, I had a bit of more Avengers news, I forgot what it was. Sorry, I spoke over you. And you said Hawkeye. I well, said about Super... Yeah, I said Hawkeye as well. Um, well he's going to die. Yeah, it could do. Yeah. Um, adding on to that, superhero stuff, HBO have also said that Hello. Watchmen... As HBO have also said talk. Watchmen... I swear to God. Sorry. <laughs> HBO have said that Watchmen, mm. their TV series of it, mm. aims to be dangerous. I'm it sure kind it of does. needs to be, because it needs to be quite shocking. Because the comment's quite shocking. They need to kind of do that a bit. Someone needs to go dark as you can get with this. No, they don't. Fuck <laughs> They do. It'd be awesome. Um, yeah. It's quite What's a bit more? of rape in Watchmen, though, isn't there? Yeah. So maybe a bit rape. Maybe they're gonna. I don't think they should go as dark as you know what they can turn to a porno about rape. No, not in that way. I mean like murderous. Murderous. Yeah. (laughs) Murderous. That should be just called the what called a new superhero film called murderous. Yeah. Uh, Tell bits of news. Jurassic World footage. Yeah. Jurassic World two footage. Oh, the one of him with the little stroking the little dinosaur. Mm. What should I say about that? Just a little teaser. (laughs) means nothing could just be left of a feature on the first one yeah. who cares let's move on <laughs> last bit of thing you've got news <laughs> Lady Bird is the best reviewed film on Rotten Tomatoes did you know that did it it was the did first it? film to, uh, it's the film to remain 100% the longest after four days of reviews oh it had 167 reviews is that what's not t- Toy Story 2 off yeah. of it so it's not really? Toy Story 2 from being the top oh I saw that film. that wasn't on there anymore and then I forgot to click on it to see what had replaced it yeah Rotten Tomatoes topped it Wow. No, Rotten Tomatoes have topped it. <laughs> Lady Bird have topped it, which is interesting. That is very interesting. Again, so clearly it's just everyone likes it in some way. Yeah. Because like I said, it just means that everyone has to give it a positive review. Yeah. Um, Fair enough. I don't know how people give... I don't get... It. Pardon me. Um, oh, no. Oh, this I'm is sad. what happens when you stay up till 4am, yeah. rearranging your bedroom. So I'll say, did we say how long we stayed up for? We were up till 4 God, my eyes hurt so much this morning just from being so close to that TV and then being up It wasn't from being close to the TV, it was just from being up till 4am and (laughs) and getting up at 6.30 that that day. God, we were up for like, yeah, nearly 24 hours. That's stupid. We're badass. Um, (laughs) We're going to pass out like 7. That's why we're recording this so late, isn't it? The dark outside. It's always dark outside now. That's all my news. Winter. Did you have more news? I have news. Are you going to stop biting to tell me the news? Yeah, so I saw... No, I've got no news. Have you? <laughs> I've got no news. Why would you? Joke. You asked me. Oh, you son of a bitch. Uh, right, well, that is it yeah. for this week. We love you. Next week. <laughs> wait, we're going to start going back to film reviews. Yeah. Oh, we are. for our last few episodes, we've got a builder. We've got. Uh, oh, we should have a calendar review a day. Fuck that. I don't watch oh, my films. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> no. Um, we've got Wonder next week. Yeah. We, we could got, talk about. Yeah. If it stays high enough on Rotten Tomatoes that we think it's worth talking about. <laughs> I'm checking. Um, <laughs> You've got to do bad film reviews too. Yeah, no, but it's more about other people going to be interested in them. We do wonder. <laughs> We're both lying down now. <laughs> Get up. No, yeah. like this. Uh, talk about wonder. Yeah. We've got stronger in the next few weeks. We talk about the disaster artist, and if we're going to talk about that, we should probably go watch the room and then yeah. talk about both of them together. Yeah. We've got a lot more film reviews coming up. Yeah, they're coming, so don't don't worry. <laughs> start watching them again if you ever did watch these. Forty to none. Um, and then last Jedi in a few weeks. Yeah. We'll record that straight after that. Yeah. And then the last episode we'll do one we'll release around Boxing Day or something. Yeah, you Merry Christmas to you. Overview of the year. Yeah. That's so, gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I don't care yeah. if anyone listens, I'll enjoy playing. That's gonna be the good. games. Yeah. So you can get us on Twitter, you can see us on Facebook, Instagram, iTunes and youtube so podcast under channel who? podcast is for under what are we calling this for not what are what are we calling this what for what for it's youtube for 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 what are we calling this on youtube for the podcast 
Wide-eyed runners. <laughs> Wide-eyed is one word. Capital W, capital E. I don't know why we turn on this. It's linked to the channel. And then runners. Yeah, but it's just nice to do a little random... Fine. Fine. <laughs> Forget it. You'll find at the end of this video there will be links to all of this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you just wait. Five there minutes. it is. <laughs> all right. Good night. You have to have 20 seconds God after God bless you, you all. I know I'm trying to talk for 20 seconds. And have a wonderful oh, evening oh, and a um, very early Merry Christmas to you, you all. 20 seconds, 20 I think seconds. that's about now.